Buff Nation. What up? BWB, my bandwagon buffs. What it is, what it does, and what it's gonna be. It's your man's Harry Brrr, Billion. Welcome to the Liberian Perspective family. <laughs> Thank you for joining me today. I appreciate you coming in here. Make sure to smash that subscribe button. Please make sure to smash that like. Share the video, please, with other folks. Because we got to discuss some things. I'm about to go in. Welcome to those who are watching live. And to those who are going to watch this on the restream. In this video, I'm going to talk about the guy that is trying to copy or do a different variation of bandwagon buffs. And I got to talk about him so that um, I can just put it out there. Because I don't think it's fair. Hold on. Give me a second, guys. I don't think it's fair that somebody built something and then somebody just comes take it and call it their own. That's not that's not how you do things. So that's what I want to talk about today. I want to talk about the guy that's trying to take the bandwagon buffs idea and claim it as his own. So I want to start off by just saying, um, you guys have you guys are rocking with me. You guys are here, all right. You've been here from day one, from 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 December, all right. We started this channel. I started this channel, and you guys have been rocking with me from day one. And you guys know how if you are one of the earlier ones, if you guys are one of the before I start, let me, let me let me let me do this the right way. Welcome everyone. Eileen, what up? Thank you, Eileen. Eileen is the one that, uh, you know, alerted me in the comments. So I, I appreciate you. Um, yeah, you should be able to fight it. Um, yeah, I'm going to I'm going to try my best. Some of these things, there's there's a lot of gray areas. There's a lot of um, legal legalities or legalities or whatever you want to call it there's a lot of things you got to go through and it takes money it takes money to do these things but yeah but that's what i wanted to talk about um so for those of you who are new to the channel welcome to trp sports club trp sports club is basically a sports channel where i discuss different topics i put things into perspective i give things I, I wrap things into uh, con conceptual bubbles and then I deliver it to my constituents. And for some odd reason, <laughs> a lot of people like the way that I bring the information that I bring. So I'm very appreciative. I'm a humble guy. Um, most people know me. I'm a humble guy. I lay it all out on the line, <laughs> whether it's, is is me putting myself out there for people to understand who I am. I'm very personable. You guys know I go to the games. I'm out in public. I'm speaking to people. I try to live my life in a way where I don't have to be afraid to walk outside to, to do what I have to do. I just, I'm open. Um, I don't hide anything. Um, um, what happened to BWB? Somebody's trying to jack BWB. Um, so, so what I did was, um, so yeah, so basically that's who I am. I try to put myself out there. I try to make myself available to people and I try to let people know that I'm open. I don't hide anything. I'm not high and mighty. I am who I am. I just, you know, I'm a fun, fun, fun guy. So I'm a fun guy. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's, just, that's just how I try to do things. I try to be fair with everybody. When I started this channel, when I started on YouTube and I went full time on YouTube, I try to reach out to a lot of people because that's just who I am. I try to reach out to a lot of people to extend my hand and say, listen, man, I got some skills, technical skills. I'm a filmmaker. I know a lot about video and stuff, whatever we can create. You know, we can create some type of help group to help people out or to help each other out. That's what I wanted to do. And I extended myself. So that's who I am. I'm always going to extend myself. I'm very open and I'm going to give you who I am. Just Personally, I'm just going to tell you everything, whether it's my political views or who I hate politically. <laughs> Me and my Trump guys, it's so, it's so amazing how many black people <laughs> support Trump. 
Okay. <laughs> and me and my Trump guys, we can go at it in the comments. We listen, man, whatever you believe, I don't try to tell anybody who to like, who not to like. I but give because they always say uh they're all about free speech, being able to, you know, freely speak your mind. But when I speak my mind, I say I don't like Trump. They don't like that. I don't understand <laughs> what happened to the free the freedom of speech. Anyway. But anyways, me and those guys can go at it. You know what I'm saying? But I don't try to let I don't try to tell anybody, oh, you can't like that guy because I don't like him. That just wouldn't be who I am. If you don't like somebody, you tell them, okay, you don't like them. Tell me the reason why you don't like them. And then and then we can go from there. That's all it is. I'm not telling you don't like Trump. I'm surprised at how many black dudes like Trump, but it is what it is. But that's just who I am, man. I don't want nobody to be turned off. Um, and I I just when I when I went to uh to Boulder, I met a lot of different people, different, <laughs> mostly white, but a lot of black people were there as well. There were other cultures, cultures that were mixed in. So I just want to let I just want to let people know I am who I am, and I try to be a guy that could be understood from both sides or every side. This is a sports channel, but I have my unique way of delivering. So when I started the channel in December, I I recognize that, you know, I'm pretty good with slogans. I'm pretty good with like the way that I deliver, things come out naturally. So I started talking just naturally, just being me um, and just doing what I do. And I was like, yo, I, I'm very honest about who I am. And then I said, Man, I'm a bandwagon buff. I'm a bandwagon fan. We are bandwagons. You see what I'm saying? People try to use the word bandwagon or the phrase bandwagon to shame other people who want to come over to a sport when or over to a team when they're winning, when there's excitement. So I said, okay, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to make bandwagon, uh, uh, I'm going to make bandwagon uh, uh, free and popular. For everybody to just say, you know what, I don't care. I'm going to accept the fact that I'm a bandwagon buff, and that's just it. So I started saying it over and over again, and it just became a thing. So <laughs> so we ran with it. We you know we rock with it. People was like, yeah. People from Australia was coming to me and be like, yo, I'm a bandwagon buff as well. <laughs> when I went to Boulder and I was talking to some people, I talked to a young guy. He was like, yo, I'm a bandwagon. My dad, you know, he he likes this team and I like that team, but I'm a bandwagon buff too. People are people all excited to be bandwagon buffs. We knew nothing about Colorado. And next thing you know, I just started learning about Colorado. I started making videos about Colorado and I started putting that out there. I wanted to know the culture. This is a PWI. It's predominantly white institution. So I went to a PWI at UNC Greensboro. So I know the PWI culture. So I was like, okay, let me learn who they are. Because a lot of people, you know, politics try to pin people against each other. If you're white, oh my gosh, you must be, you must do and think this way. You see what I'm saying? And if you're black, you must, if you're white, you must think this way. And if you're black, you must think this way. And if you're I try to misspell those myths on this channel just to let people know we got to talk. We have to come to the table to have a conversation, no matter what our differences are. That's what I try to say here. And I try to do that here. And I was surprised. I ain't going to, I I'll admit, I was surprised how many white fans that I have. Because sometimes, you know what I'm saying? Your black face, you got the side, you got the hat turned to the side. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? So you would think like, oh, white people, there's no way they're going to, they're going to be like, who is this ghetto dude or who is this? black dude out there you know this hip-hop dude but i'm surprised that most of my fans are white and i like it that way because that's 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 the human being that i am i don't because of my because of my belief being a christian being who i am i'm accepting of people i love people naturally that's why i'm drawn to people naturally i don't got i have no hate bone in my body so and and that's just who i am and that, so I'm so surprised. I wasn't. I wasn't so surprised that I had white fans, but I was surprised that I had a, as how many white fans that I had, and they were so embracing when I went to Boulder. And I like that. That's what I want to create here. So I say all of that to say, bandwagon buff was birthed out of that idea, and for months and for weeks and months. I try to explain to you guys what bandwagon buff meant. Some people came to me in confidant. 
in the comments. It was like, oh, they hit me up on the email, like, yo, Harry B, I'm a bandwagon too, bro. <laughs> I know people that people say, look, I'm uh, Georgia is my team, but I like Coach Prime, so I'm a bandwagon buff. And people, you know, we've been having a lot of fun with it. So I was like, you know what? Let me just let me just create this. Let me make this thing a thing. And maybe because the Bible says your gifts and your um the things that God has given you will make room for you. So so I said, okay, fine. So I'm using my gift to try to make room for me and my family. That's what I'm doing here. I'm a very honest guy. Like I don't I don't pretend to be anybody else. That's what I'm doing here. I don't tell anyone, hey, I'm this, I'm up here, and you're down here. I don't do that. When I need help, I tell you guys that I need help. Um, I need help to get to the game, and I tell you guys that I don't have all this money. So when the whole bandwagon thing was going on, people were telling me, yo, Harry B, do you have that trademarked? Do you have it copywritten? And I and I was honest. And I said, no, I don't have it copywritten. I don't have it trademarked. I looked into it. It's very expensive to do that. So I said, no. I was very honest in the comments, and I was talking to people. So and I don't because I don't have the money to do it. I don't have all this money to just go out and just start. You can't just it's like a thousand dollars or a couple of thousand dollars to do it. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going to get to it. I didn't know that somebody was somebody from this community was actually going to just take it. I mean, <laughs> when you're when you're operating in faith, good faith. And when you're in the community, you don't think anybody that. Anybody that's in that community is just, just, just going to do you dirty just like that. Because everybody was asking me questions. I guess some people who were, I guess one of the people who were asking me just wanted to know whether it was already taken <laughs> or copywritten so that he could do it too, you know? So anyway, let me go ahead and get into it. And um, we can, we can um, then I'll give you the receipts and we can talk about it. I did a poor man's copyright, uh, Twitch 09. I did a poor man's copyright. I did all of the poor man's copywritten stuff. First of all, it's in public. That's one of the poor man's copyrights. Um, anyways, before I get into all of that stuff, let me give you the receipts that I have, okay? Because I didn't know that we had a Judas. <laughs> I had no idea we had a Judas in our, in our midst. But apparently, I guess one of the people that was watching and reaching out, he was a Judas. He wanted he wanted the name, and that's what that's exactly what he did. He took it and flipped it, and now he's calling. He said that he came up with it. So let's look at it. All right. So I'm gonna share. Okay, I keep telling you guys, forgive me for this thing right here. So let me let me share my screen, and uh, and then I'll show you guys. The large window, select window scare. Okay. Okay. All right, guys. So here we are. I'm going to share my screen here. So you guys go in the comments and let me know if you can see this screen. Let me, uh, somebody who, whoever's watching, please let me know if you can see when I go to his website. So do you guys see when I go to his website, can I get a yes? Anybody's watching, please. Okay, so you see it. All right, so here we go, guys. I'm gonna go off screen, I guess, when I as I do it. But here we go. All right, so here it goes. This guy, um, this is his website. So it's buffsbandwagoner.com, and his logo is right here. Proud Bandwagoner, Colorado Buffs. All right, and as you can see right here. I mean, there's a lot going on here that I want to talk about. You can see here, first of all, the name Colorado Buffs. That has to be licensed somewhere by the university. Colorado Buffs. Like, I'm not, 
I'm not printing T-shirts that says Colorado Buffs. All right, but this is all part of his logo. So when he prints something, this is part of his name and logo or his logo. Then he has another one up here. It says Proud Ben Wagoner Colorado Buffs. And then Proud Ben Wagoner Colorado Buffs here. So this one looks like the, I guess, Smokey the Bear or whatever. All right. So this logo is troubling because, number one, this looks like the CU logo just flipped backwards. So that's that's troubling in itself, but I'm not here to talk about that. That's something that he has to deal with with the school. So, you know, he proud Ben Wagner puts it all here. And then he has the clothing. This is his live website. This is a public website. So I know I see children on there. So I don't I don't I don't want to do anything with children or anything like that. I'm not putting anything the children out there. And then he has the coach prime. He has Coach Prime's image on here. I don't know if the Coach Prime image and the video was licensed. If he if he got the license to do that, I don't know. But again, that's his prerogative. Whatever he's doing, and then again, another thing right here, he has that on there. So I don't know. Those those are things you got to license. All right. So, and then here we go about. Uh, let me come back real quick. All right. He said, not Smokey the Bear. <laughs> so you guys are good, right? You're seeing what, what I'm showing? You can hear me clearly and you're seeing what I'm showing? Can I get a yes, anyone, please? So I can continue. Anyone's everybody saying good what I'm hearing? That you're hearing me clearly and you're seeing what I'm what I'm showing, right? Can I get a yes, anyone? I know you guys are at work, sneak watching, and you, you're like, Harry B, just talk. We got you. <laughs> okay, <laughs> Twitch, <laughs> John, John Birch, thank you, and Twitch, <laughs> thank you. Thank you guys for sneaking, sneaking from work and, uh, and, and rocking with me. I appreciate you. Okay, so this is this is it. Here we go. About me. This is a public website, so I just want to make that clear. Okay, guys? This is public stuff, so this is in public domain. It's live. My name is Varian Shelton, a.k.a. Chief X. I'm reading right here, guys. We are proud to kick off this new sports apparel business called Proud Bandwagoner. I was inspired to start this. I'm going to say that again. I was inspired to start this business because of Coach Prime Deion Sanders Sr. Becoming the new head coach, becoming the new coach of the Colorado Buffaloes and the hype surrounding this football team because of the new head coach hire. <laughs> I can't get past that. Every time I read that, I can't get past that. It sounds so familiar of what I said, actually. <laughs> so, okay, let me just keep going. Um, Oh, man. All right. So becoming a new coach of the Colorado Buffaloes and the hype surrounding his football team because of the new head coach hire. Growing up, I was a huge fan of primetime Deion Sanders. I'm also a South I'm also a Southern California native out of the out of Los Angeles and was never it, it was never a fan of the Colorado Buffaloes. It sounds familiar. <laughs> I became a new fan as soon as coach I became a new fan as soon as coach prime the uh, coach prime became the coach. Hmm. Bringing with him excitement and and uh, what is that? Reviving the football program coupled with massive media and new fan attention. I became what you call a bandwagoner. Hmm. I have questions about that. And a proud Ben Wagoner. So the name is Shelton, Varian Shelton, a.k.a. Chief X. All right. This is why this is important. <laughs> he said, so that's that's it, it's, it's so funny that he said he was inspired by he was inspired to, to to start his business the band wagoner because when coach prime got hired that's when he was inspired i'm like I, every time i read that me and my wife we read that and i'm like she's like harry you keep saying it over and over again i can't because i'm like this guy is serious like that's when he was inspired but this is a guy that actually watched the show he was watching the show in the beginning. He was one of the um, he was one of the early um, the early club members. 
he was um he he reached out a couple of times. So I'm about to show you that. He reached out in the comments and um and he said he said Harry he's like yo send me your email and I sent him the email hot tips for TLP sports at gmail.com and then a couple of weeks passed I get no email and then I put out another video and then he says he comments he goes under the video again he, he says send me your email yo give me your email even though at that time I was actually putting the email on screen and hot tips I kept telling you guys hey if you got anything for me reach out to excuse me if you have anything for me reach out to me guys hot tips for TLP sports at gmail.com so I kept saying that but he just I guess he didn't get that so he was like yo he said yo send me your email he said it a couple of times and I was like bro every time you ask me for my email I send it to you I give it to you in the comments so why you keep asking me the same question I did not know that this guy was casing me. I did not know that Chief X was casing me. I didn't know he was lining me up. <laughs> I hope you guys understand what I'm saying. I didn't know he was lining me up. He was doing his research to try to, to try to take the name or to try to copy the name. So I was like, okay. So and then so he sent me an email. He finally got the email. He was like, give it to me one more time. So I did. So and then he sent me, he finally sent me an email. So I want to show you guys that email. I want to show you guys that this is real. Okay, let's, where's my desktop? Let's go to the desktop. Uh, uh, uh. All right, guys, I'm, I'm going to go to the desktop. Uh, let me know if you guys can see this. Hold on, where's my screen? <clears throat> All right, so how do I access my desktop? I'm not gonna waste your time. I'm gonna I'm gonna do it this way. I got my phone right here. I came prepared. So I'm going to show you this right here. You guys see this email right here. This is the email that he sent me. I'm going to read it out. <clears throat> he says, Varian, Varian Shelton says, to hot tips for TLP sports at gmail.com. Uh, the, the title of the email, it says, Free Colorado Merch. You guys can see it right there. It says free Colorado merch. All right. And it says Varian right here on the top. Varian Shelton right there. You can see my email. Hot tips for, for TLP Sports Club at gmail.com. That's the email. Let me just read it out to you guys. Hello, this is Chief X. IDK. I don't know if you remember. Okay, hold on. Whenever you're trying to do something, that's when everything wants to show its face. That's when everything wants to go crazy. But the devil is a liar, for those of you who are Christian. <laughs> the devil is a liar. You're going to work. Trust me. Okay, here we go. Do it again. He's going to do it again. Okay. All right, so here we go. Hello, this is Chief X. I don't know if you remember, but I want to send you some free design Colorado Buffs merchandise. Can I get your size in unisex t-shirt? I also have ball caps, but I need your shirt size and a mailing address, please. Any questions? This is when the concern started to come to me. So I reached out. <clears throat> I want to show you guys that I did reach out. I did reach back out to him. All right, that's my email right there. Hot tips for TLP sports at gmail.com. And I said, good afternoon. Thanks for reaching out. I would like to know before sending over any information what the intentions of the merch are. Unfortunately, I don't wear anyone else's brands or clothing due to my partnership with other brands. I only wear plain black on my channel. So I don't know what I'll do with the merch when you send it. Just wanted to be open and transparent. 
Then he says, okay, understood. Just wanted to show you guys. He says, okay, understood. Do you have children? I have merch for babies and young kids. Maybe just give me a shout out. I'll be shouting out many of y'all out when my website and YouTube channel go live or gift it to a child. I believe that was the last time I responded. That was the last email that he sent that we had. So from that, um, I don't think I responded. I don't, I didn't see an email of me responding. I'm very busy. I got businesses that I'm running. <laughs> I'm a landlord. So I got things that I'm doing. I'm not just sitting, you know, waiting for stuff to happen. So, but something told me I didn't, I didn't want to do business with this guy. It just, it just felt weird. It felt kind of, I, I just didn't want to do business with him. So, but, uh, because I have a clothing line myself. I, I believe if you guys remember, I told you guys that I have a clothing line called So African Clothing. So African Clothing, my motto is we can love us without hating anyone. The reason why I don't wear So African Clothing on my channel is because So African Clothing is a political line. Not necessarily a political line, but it's a line that because so many people hate Africans and they're always telling us go back to Africa and then the uh, African-American youth. They don't really align with Africa. A lot of people say, hey, Africa, uh, we're not Africans and stuff like that. I try to bridge the gap between the African-American and the African-American youth and Africans who are from who are either in the diaspora or from the, the motherland. That's what my whole clothing line is about, not being afraid or being ashamed of being an African and being who I am. So I put that out there. You guys know this is the Liberian perspective. I'm not, I, I, I say stuff in my Liberian language, but the reason why I don't wear that is because I do a lot of, I send a lot of messages on my shirts politically and not politically, just letting people know I can love me just like white people love being white and they love being American. I want to let, I want to let people know that I'm African and I'm proud of being African, but I don't have to hate you like you hate me. I don't have to hate anyone. I can love me. So, but I don't want to turn anybody off on this channel. So I say, you know what? I'm not going to wear my, my African, my so African clothing stuff on this channel because it's a sports channel. Sports brings people together. Sports doesn't divide, even though I do say sometimes political stuff and, and I don't like Trump and all of that, but you know what I'm saying? I don't want to turn anybody off. That's why I just wear plain black. I don't have to think about what I'm going to wear such and you know, so on and so forth. But it's not that I'm afraid to wear African. It's just like, this is a different type of, you know, mission here. You know what I'm saying? I pick my battles carefully. It's a business decision. Um, but yeah, so I don't, so I have my own clothing line. I even print clothes. I have a printer myself. I print t-shirts as a business, as a side business. So without having to diverge all of that information, I just said, listen, man, I can't do it because I have other partnerships. But I don't know if they took it personal or if it became something for them. For some reason, all of a sudden, boom, we get proud band wagoners. And I'm like, bruh. I said, wait a minute. One of the um somebody who's actually watching right now, one of the band, one of the club members reached out to me either this week or last week, and it was like, and said, is, is Bandwagoner Buff your, your brand? And I said, no, Bandwagoner Buff is not my brand, but it's very close to my name. So I don't know who would do that. Is you know, it would it would it would it would not be a good thing for them. But here, lo and behold, she said the uh she said, check it out. I said, okay. So I checked it out and I saw the name. And right away I knew who it was. I was like, oh, I recognized the name. This guy reached out to me, and I'm like. Oh, wow. This guy's been casing me. He's the guy that's been doing research and trying to reach out. And and and, and, and now he has his own brand and his, and his bandwagoner buff. And then says that he came up with it or he was inspired to do it when Coach Prime was hired at... When Coach Prime was hired as, as CU. I'm like... Really? Because it really sounds like what I said on the channel. We're bandwagoners. We're bandwagoners. That's who we are. I understand the name is different, 
And some people might say, well, it's not the same thing. But if you want to listen, man, if you want to print your bandwagoner, proud bandwagoner, I'm fine with that. But when you add bandwagoner buffs, and I know that you're going to be trying to print T-shirts that says uh, bandwagoner buff. So you're just adding an ER. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then that's it. And now you get to use the name bandwagoner buff, just like you're doing Colorado buffs. And then you're using Coach Prime's um, image. I don't know if you license that. That's not my business. I can't speak on that. I'm going to leave that alone. But I know for sure the Colorado, because I print T-shirts and I do have and I do have a license and I, not a license, but I do have contracts with with different design companies and different printing companies because I do screen printing. If you sent that logo to one of my one of my allies, not allies. What am I talking about? If you send that to one of the companies that I print with, one of the printing companies that I print with, they would not print that because of this name, because of the logo. If I was to send this logo right here to one of the printers that I use to print, they would not print this because of this logo and because of the name Colorado Buffs. They wouldn't print it. So... So I know for sure because of because of my affiliation with these other companies that there's something wrong here. I'm not the only person being wronged unless Colorado or University of Colorado gave the approval to use this logo, whether it's turned around the other side or not. And then the name Colorado Buffs being in the logo. I can't take a Nike logo. <clears throat> Surround it with, with the, the bear and say that it's mine. I can't do that. We have other, we have other creators in this space. All right. <clears throat> I couldn't take Chico's um, information and say, yo, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a Chico buff. I couldn't do that. Alpha American sports. I couldn't take alpha American sports and say, I'm an alpha American buff. Just flip it around. That's that's not in good faith. If you are a creator in this space, that's not you're not operating in good good faith with everybody else. There's so many creators that's out here. We got Coach Prime's brands, Reach the People Media. Then we have um, then we have uh, Bucky's brand, Well Off Media. I couldn't just take their name, it, make a variation of their name. And say it's mine. I was inspired to do it when Coach Prime got hired. So I came up with Reacher of People. That sounds a little silly, but it sounds like what, what's happening here. Ben Wagoner Buff is not yours. And then I want to I want to also highlight this. Proud Bandwagoner presents fashionable sports t-shirts and ball caps for the entire nation of Buffaloes of Colorado Buzz Bandwagoners who are rooting for the success of the CU football team under the leadership of Coach Prime, a.k.a. Deion Sanders. We are the headquarters. I repeat, we are the headquarters of Buffs Bandwagoner Nation. Word? You're the headquarters of Buff Bandwagoners? We carry quality t-shirts that last. So thank you in advance for your support. Bro, how did you become the headquarters of the bus bandwagoners? When I've been saying in my in my intro, I say, Buff Nation, what up? BWB, my bandwagon buffs. What it is, what it does, and what it's gonna be. It's your man's Harry. Brr, billion. I got to copyright everything that I'm saying. I don't have the money to do that. Harry Billion is going to be bi the billion billionaires. I don't know. Like, what is going on? You're the headquarters of Buff Bandwagoners? Bruh, I'm at the games. I got videos at the game. The team, Shador, the other team members are saying Bandwagon Buffs. 
Shout out bandwagon buffs. Coach Prime knows that we got bandwagon buffs out here. But you became the headquarters because you were inspired to do it when Coach Prime got hired. That's not in good faith. Forget lawsuit. Forget all, anything else. We are in a small community. You're not operating in good faith. It's not fair. You can't do that, bro. You want people to rock this. You want people to support you. It's not like I don't want people to support you, and I'm not going to tell people don't support you. People can make up their own mind. This is at 2023 Proud Bandwagon of All Rights Reserved. You just started this. You started watching my channel, and, and you got the idea for me. And now you're parading as if this is something that you came up with. The intellectual property is yours because you were so inspired when Coach Prime got hired to come up with this. Oh, you know what? I don't know Colorado, but I'm going to be a bandwagon buff. Your writing is as if you came up with it on your own. You came up with the idea, but you didn't. That's the whole problem with this whole thing. I'm not mad at you, my guy. I'm not angry. I'm not coming out here to say, to call you any names. That's not my style. And you know that. That's why you reached out to me. So do the right thing and take it down. Just do the right thing in faith, in good faith. Take it down, bro. Change it up. Proud bandwagoner. Make all the t-shirts you want to make with proud bandwagoner. My issue is when you add bandwagoner buffs, it's encringing on my stuff because I'm bandwagon buff. So I came up with that. When the Bible says your, your gifts and your talents and the things that God has given you will make room for you, that's all I'm doing here to feed my family. I'm selling merch. I'm doing my best to edit these videos. I'm, I'm going out there trying to try, trying to make money to try to feed my family. And I'm doing the best that I can for what I'm trying to build. I'm just building. I'm an honest guy. I don't have all this money to be copywriting everything that I, that I come up with. I don't. But you would think that people would act in good faith when they're interacting with you on these channels or on YouTube. But if you got more money than me, you're just going to take it in there because you have more money. You can just go copyright it or you can just run and then you can, you're going to um, you're going to uh, register it. You're not acting in good faith, and and God doesn't God don't like ugly. It, it ain't right, man. Just act in good faith. Like you, you're reaching out to me, casing me. You're lining me up just so you can take my stuff. Now, when you print bandwagon above, I don't know how much money you got, or I don't know where you at, but it seems like you know you're trying to make it yourself. So if we're all trying to make it, just be original. Come up with your own stuff. Come up with your own stuff. Like, yo, Harry B, yo, I need help, man. You're good with you're good with like sayings and you're good with catchphrases and stuff like that. Yo, bro, can you help me out? I don't know if I'll help you out now because you're not a good person, but anybody reaches out to me, I got people out here that that, that will confirm that I'm a that I'm a type of guy that's gonna help people out. I want to help people. That's why I'm here. And I reach out my hand to, to, to multiple people already. I'm helping a couple of people with their YouTube channels. I'm helping them with, you know, different things on their YouTube, how to grow their YouTube and stuff like that. That's what I want to do. But if you're not going to act in good faith, then how do you want people to support you in good faith? How are you asking people to support you, but you're taking somebody else's intellectual property and you're flipping and saying you came up with it? Nowhere in there does it mention TLP Sports, TLP Sports Club, or Harry B. But we know that the origin of, you started reaching out to me in the comments when you saw my show and I started explaining what, what bandwagon meant and all of those things. And you took the words that I said and put it on your website. And then you describe what bandwagon means. Like, you're describing the definition, like, right here. Proud Bandwagoner presents Buffs, Buffs Bandwagoner Nation. Excuse me, guys. The definition, of a, the definition of a bandwagoner is someone who all of a sudden supports a sports team when they have never previously done so for reasons that are popular, trending, exciting, etc. 
and they become a fan by jumping on the bandwagon and enjoying their ride. It can relate to a festive and exciting time by all of a sudden, out of the blue, becoming a supporter of this new team. Like Coach Prime says, we're coming, which is also licensed. We can't just put that on our website. See, there's one thing to have a YouTube channel and and use other people's footage and stuff that they put out to either respond to it or to and give them credit and say, hey, I'm getting the footage from here. But it's another thing for me to start a business, put Colorado Buffs on there, or put Coach Prime's name and his image or the school and stuff like that on there and say it's mine. Because now you're doing this, you're doing this for profit. This is a business. Those are licensed things. You can't just take it and, and say this is mine. I don't know if Coach Prime is aware of this. I don't know if the university knows about this. But this video right here is on the business website. This is a video from Coach Prime and his team. There's a difference if I use that stuff on YouTube when I'm making a YouTube video and, and say I give support or when I say, hey, this video comes from this. And if I'm responding, YouTube has that community where you react to videos or you're using it in, in um you're using it in good faith. That's what we do. That's what that's that's how the media works. But once I start a business, like I own the website, bandwagonbuffs.com. I'm sure he's probably trying to get it, but I own the website. I have a lot of receipts. I have receipts for everything. So the only thing is I, I, I don't have forever money. I've been asking people to help me to try to get to the game. I mean, there's people out here, and I, and, but I'm not ashamed. I don't have all this money, and I'm, I never let people know here that I'm somebody that I'm not. I'm not here saying, oh, I have this, all this money. Got somebody coming into the comments, you know, worried about why I'm asking for people to help me out. I'm like, why don't you just worry about yourself? My finances are my finances. I'm trying to grow this business. This YouTube thing is a business for me. I'm trying to grow it. And then I came up with bandwagon buffs that people gravitated to. And I thought that this, this is something that's going to help my business grow or it's going to be something that I can make some make some merch or make some money off to feed my family. I'm upfront with that. And I say that. I don't try to pretend to be somebody that I'm not. I tell you guys the truth all the time. I'm very upfront. And that's just how I live my life. That way I can be free of pretending to be somebody that I'm not. So I don't have to get zits, pimples, and, and be all worried that I have to re remember what I said yesterday because then I may flip it tomorrow. So I just put it all out there. That's why the whole idea of a bandwagon came about. I don't have to be ashamed to be a bandwagon. <laughs> I'm a bandwagon buff. But now you're going to be printing shirts that says bandwagon or buff. It's way too close to what I'm doing. You're going to be taking money and you're going to be taking food from my family's mouth. That's not right. Act in good faith and take it down or change it, bro. That's what you're supposed to do when you're in a community of creators. You're saying you're going to start your own YouTube channel. When that comes out, you're going to be creating videos. You want you want to be authentic. People, people can tell when you are authentic or you, when you're not authentic. Are you guys hearing me? What do you guys think about this? Like, if you guys are out there, I know you guys are at work. Some, a lot of you are at work and you can't, you can't really respond. So I understand. Um, I am streaming like <laughs> midday. I don't even remember if this is okay. Yeah, Friday, August the 11th, <laughs> right smacking, like right after lunch, you're going back to work. So let me see. Let's go back. Let's um, stop screen sharing. So if you guys are hearing me, please put in the comments. Yes, we hear you, Harry B. Like, I'm not trying to shame this guy. I just want to make it known that there's going to be a competing brand. I don't know if I'm going to get the money to be able to take this to court, tie this up in court, and do all kinds of things. But this is what I'm dealing with. This is the poor man's court. Public, public opinion and public uh, domain is the is is the poor man's court. Now you guys know about this. You guys know about Chief X and what he's doing. 
it's not fair what he's trying to do. You can't just take something I came up with, remix it, and it sounds almost way too close to what I'm doing, and then just put it out and say, yeah, I was inspired to do this. We're the bandwagon bandwagoner nation. We are the headquarters of all the bandwagoners for the buffs. That is so not right. Like, how can you go to sleep at night thinking? Like before this, before this live, I couldn't sleep last night. I just, I just kept thinking, like, God, what am I gonna say? Like, God, please guide me. Guide me, help me to figure out how to how to approach this. I don't want to make enemies out there. I'm in the public. I don't want nobody to walk up to me and do it. I don't know how people are out here. I'm not trying to make no enemies, but I'm not going to be afraid to speak my truth. I'm not going to be afraid to call you out when you do stuff like this. I'm not taking nobody else's name. And even if I, if I was to take a name and then find out later on it was somebody else's, I would try to come up with something different. I'm just good with that. That's just one of my gifts. I come up with catchphrases, catchphrases all the time, and I do stuff like that all the time. It's just something that I do. But it's just not fair for you to be in this creative area with a name like Chief X and then the bandwagoner buff and then start selling T-shirts and asking for the same community to support you. We're going to go to the games and then we're going to see people with bandwagoner, proud bandwagoner stuff on. But we know where that come from. We know that it came from TLP Sports and Harry brr, Billion. So how can I wear that with pride? How can I be pr a proud bandwagoner when you're not starting off being a proud bandwagoner? When you're when you're starting something in bad faith, how can that be? How can you how can you sell the company? The, the, the merchandise for that company and you know that you did this in bad faith and we are we are serving the same community you know i'm out here you knew i was going to see it but you're putting it out there and you want the same community that's supporting me to support you even though some people may never know who i am they may never have uh, never seen a video of mine and they will still support you because they, they, you are in California, Southern California somewhere, and they can support you because they support Coach Prime. But you're going to go to sleep at night just knowing that you just sold a lot of a lot of stuff. And is it because I didn't want to rock your stuff? I don't rock anybody's stuff. A couple of people have reached out to me to rock their stuff, and I tell, you, tell them, no, I wear plain black on my show. Plain black shirt. And then my hats are different colors. I don't I don't know man. I don't know if I have the money to 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 take this to court. Anybody out there that's a lawyer, that's a Anybody that's a lawyer, if you want to lend a hand, intellectual property lawyer, copyright trademark lawyer, if you want to help me out it would be a blessing because it's just, you can't do that. You can't do this kind of stuff. You can't just take somebody's stuff and say you came up with it. No credit to the person that did it first. Even if you give me credit, it's still, it's still not going to be okay, but you just pretending like you came up with it because when coach prime got hired and that's, that's how you came up with it. People gravitate to people that are authentic online. They can tell who you are. The stuff that you say, your personality, if you say you're starting a YouTube channel, people are going to tell who you are. People are going to be able to figure you out. So if you treat people right, people will know. I mean, of course, you're going to get a lot of people who don't care about none of that stuff. And still, if you put out hot content, they're still going to rock with you. But you got to live with you. You got to live with the fact that you're not original. You copy somebody else's brand and you're parading around as if it was yours and you came up with it. You got to live with that. If I can't get the money to come after you to try to get you to cease and desist, if I can't do none of that, you're going to go out there and you're going to do what you got to do 
but you got to live with that. I don't have forever money. I don't. And and no, I did not copyright it. No, I didn't trademark it because when y'all were saying it, I didn't have the money to do it. You know, so I don't just have a couple of thousand dollars just laying around. I can just do it. I got kids and I got a wife and I got things that I got to take care of. And I'm upfront with that. I'm open and I can tell somebody that. So the guy that's that's online and oh I make a hundred thousand dollars in the comments and I don't need this and then the guy telling me oh why don't you buy your own tickets? That's your life. Focus on your life. My blessings and the way that people want to support me. That's on me. I'm not in nobody else's pocket. I'm not forcing people to do anything for me. So live your life. Like if you're happy, be genuinely happy for what you do, man. Like for real. That's why I had to go live because. Because of my schedule, I've had to do a lot of the voiceover stuff with my intro and all of that. But I wanted to do this live so you can see me. You can see my face because you guys know who I am. You know how I do. All right. I'm going to be in Texas and I'm going to be doing my thing. I'm going to come out there and I'm going to talk to you guys. We're going to see each other in the stadium. I want to shake hands and I want to, you know, give dabs and I want to talk to people. I want, I want everybody to have fun. I want everybody to enjoy this. But like Chris Rock says. I don't want to be fighting in front of these white people. <laughs> Why is it got to be just us? Why is it always got to be us? This is a PWI, predominantly white institution. All of the white creators, they don't have to deal with none of this. If you guys don't know this, the white creators, they can talk sports all day. They don't have to talk nothing personal. They don't have to say anything. They just can just create. They're not dealing with this drama. It's always the black people that have to deal with this nonsense. We're always having to do something like this. I'm a filmmaker, and I tell you guys all this time. Even in the film industry, with my white friends, they can create, they can write fun movies. They can go to the beach. They can all jump in a Jeep, write a movie about jumping in a Jeep and going to the beach and, and, and wilding out and doing stuff, and then it can blow up. Write a movie about smoking and just standing up smoking and that's their movie. Having fun, living their life. For us black filmmakers, for us creators, we got to talk about everything that's happening. I got to talk about what's happening in Alabama. I got to talk about this. If you're not talking about that, nobody wants to listen to you. I got to do slave movies. I got to do shoot them up, bang, bang movies. I don't want to do that stuff. I've been said that before. I didn't want to do none of that. I just want to create like I want to create. Like my white counterparts, they can just do what they want to do. They can just talk sports, but I have to deal with nonsense that I don't necessarily want to deal with. It comes with my territory because it is because of the color of my skin and because of my community. That's just what we do. We have this crab in the barrel mentality, and we do this stuff to our to each other. I didn't ask for it, but it's something that we got to deal with. So, to all my white creators. Just understand that you guys got it good, man. You guys can just talk and just do your thing. <laughs> we got to deal with some crazy stuff. We got to deal with some crap, okay? So <laughs> count your beans, okay? Count your beans when you are creating. The next time you sit down and make a video, think about your boy, Harry B. You be like, man, I know Harry B's, you know, he put out another video, but man, he got to deal with that whole bandwagon buff stuff. Somebody trying to jack his name. Yeah, man, that's the, that's stuff we got to deal with. So I wanted to come on here and I wanted to talk to you about that. I wanted to put it out there so everybody know that this is not okay. The little, little girl, I don't want to I don't want to keep showing her face. But yeah, proud bandwagon of buff, proud bandwagon of Colorado buffs. Now, if you bring a t-shirt, if you print a t-shirt and you just take off the bear, the, the bear's hat. Smokey the Bear hat, if you take that off and you go Colorado Buffs, that's going to be a problem automatically. But proud bandwagoner, Chief X, Chief X, do the right thing, brother. You reached out to me. I didn't want to do business with you. I was honest with you. And, and then you tried to copy my name. Chief X, Shelton. Varian Shelton, a.k.a. Chief X. Do the right thing, brother. 
do the right thing. You can't be proud to kick this off because you you took it. I don't know how you are proud to kick that off because you took it. You're taking it from somebody who's an honest man. I'm a Christian man. I'm honest. I ain't perfect. I can argue with people in the comments all day. I'm not perfect, but you're taking it from an honest man who's trying to feed his family. This I'm trying to feed, I feed my family with YouTube. Y you guys know that I have a YouTube income. Like, YouTube is my income. And then other side things that I do. But this is how I feed my family. You're trying to take food from my, my family's mouth because you have more money. Because you want to be a bully? I don't know what it, what it is. You got more money, so you want to bully your way into taking my name, copywriting it, doing whatever you can, because you got the money to do it, and I don't. That's not in good faith, and God don't like ugly, man. I'm telling you, somebody's going to do it to you, and you won't like it. Or maybe somebody's already done something like that to you, and now you're in a space where you don't care anymore. Now, because you're hurt, you want to hurt me. And I didn't hurt you. I didn't do anything to you. I just didn't want to do business with you. And now I kind of like see why I, I'm glad that I didn't do any business with you because you're this type, type of person who would try to take somebody's idea and call it yours. That's not how you do, man. This is way different from somebody taking a video and using it as their, you know, taking a photo online, using it as their thumbnail. This is YouTube. This That's different than starting a business, making money as a business, and saying this name, I came up with it. I was inspired to come up with this. And then explain to them what a bandwagoner is. Everything that you're saying, I said in my videos. And you got that from me. And why are you doing it? I have no idea. I have no idea why, you, why you're coming after me. Personally, I don't know. I don't know you. I don't think I know you. I don't live in California. I've always been on the East Coast since I came from Africa. I lived on the East Coast. I only went to California, I think, like once. That was it. So I don't remember you. Maybe you lived on the East Coast and we did something. And you, I don't know. I don't have enemies like that. So I don't know why you chose me. Why are you coming after me? Why my name? Because you see an opportunity. I guess you're an opportunist, which I understand. But you got the baby buffs. Use that baby buffs. Baby buffs is a hot is a hot name. Use that baby buffs.com. But bandwagon a buff, like when I sell t-shirts now, bandwagon buff, like when people go to the stadium and they want to show their they want to be proud of that. I, I support Coach Prime, bandwagon buff. Like now they gotta be like bandwagoner. That's not they're not gonna feel right to wear that now. Just proud bandwagoner. Make all the t-shirts you want. Proud bandwagoner. But when you put bandwagoner buff, it's way too close to what I do. <sighs> BWB. If you remember, guys, when you first heard BWB or you know that BWB belongs to TLP Sports, put it in the comments. If you're watching this on Restream, if you're watching this after the live let me know in the comments that you know that BWB Bandwagon Buffs was started here. I appreciate your support. That's how you can support me. Let, let, let the community know, let the world know that BWB Bandwagon Buffs started here. You remember when I said it, and you know that I've been saying it. I say it in every video. Ever since I started it, from the early days, <laughs> I've said it in every video. It's in my intro. And this guy, Chief X, Varian Shelton, Chief X, is not acting in good faith in this community. You want to support him? You can support him. That's on you. I can't, I can't tell you who to support, but I'm just saying that bandwagoner, that bandwagoner buff, bandwagoner is, I mean, there's already bandwagoners out there, but bandwagoner buff, is way too close to bandwagon buff. That's us. That's our community. That's something that I created here at TLP Sports Club. So if you guys are out there, please put in the comments, yo, Harry B, we rock with you. Harry B, we know it was yours. Let me know that you support. I want to thank you for watching. Um, I want to thank you for supporting this channel. 
And I want to thank all of those people that have already reached out to me to help me to get to the TCU game. I'm also still looking to get a little bit more assistance for the uh, the Nebraska game, which will be on the ninth. But yeah, a um, couple of people did reach out to me. So thank you. You know who you are. You have not given me permission to tell you to say your name publicly because I don't know what that's going to mean. But you know who you are. I want to say thank you for helping me to get to the game. So I will be coming to TC, the TCU game. I will be in Texas. All right. Um, so thank you guys that, that has helped me, that has reached out. I still need help. Um, so if anybody out there that wants to assist me um, and you want to, I guess, if you want to, you know, give me any like financial assistance to try to get to the game, I would definitely appreciate it. Um, let me give you guys my cash app. So anybody that want, wants to support. So anybody that wants to support is dollar sign TLP sports club. Yeah. Dollar sign TLP sports club. That's pretty much what it is. So dollar sign i'm gonna put it in the comments guys for you guys to see so it's gonna be dollar sign tlp sports club but i want to thank you guys for your support you guys been rocking with me this chat this um on this channel um if you're not a subscriber, you've been watching the videos, you know I'm working hard. I've been working very hard um, to try to bring you information, um, to try to give you those numbers for the other teams, their trenches, their defensive line, their offensive line. I've been doing that. I'm going to continue. I don't want to keep talking about this. I don't want to keep, you know, doing doing these type of videos and putting people on blast and doing all of that stuff. I don't want to do that. I want to get back to what I do. I want to get back to giving you guys pertinent information, information that's going to serve the community not just self-serving like i'm doing right now but i had to make this video because i want you to be aware of this right here you got to be aware of 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 that proud bandwagoner with shelton varian shelton chief x because they, they're out there in youtube land and they're going to be creating and they're going to be in in this in this creator's universe some people are some some people are who they are. But that's not fair, Shelton. Varian, Shelton, that's not fair. What you're doing is not righteous. Do the right thing, man. Do like Spike Lee and do the right thing, Shelton. Please, Shelton, do the right thing. You can do it. Just change the name. Ben Wagner Buff. When you start printing those t-shirts, bandwagon or buff, you'll remember that bandwagon bus was started by Harry B. <sighs> All right, guys. So I'm going to leave it right there. You know who I am. I'm Harry B. And that right there is the Liberian perspective. That's T-L-P Sports Club. Blah.